Doreen Young with the great Arturo Ferro, <laughs> Grammy Award winning pianist, composer, and every other thing I can think of related to music and art. Um, I'm here uh, for Najee Dorsey and BlackArtInAmerica.com, and we're talking to Arturo Ferro about his yeah. performance today at the Dwyer. That's right, And Dwyer. I hope you can talk about what you're doing today. Well, we're coming to a uh, tribute and homage to the great tradition of art in Harlem and music in Harlem and culture in Harlem. This is uh, really a lot of people don't realize that the cultural center of New York is Harlem. I mean, I hope most people realize that we don't think, you know, it's like they think the cultural center of New York is uh, down in the 60s on Broadway, but it's not. That's, that's not where it's at. For me, what, what happens here, what was created here, what is being created here, the interdisciplinary realities of what's going on here and uh, what people are doing reflects more of a communities and culture. And culture is community. Yes. It's not elitism. Exactly. So uh, exactly. what's happening here is more about mm -hmm. art and culture mm -hmm. and elitism. And I think that's important. That's what we're from. Have to really teach, it. and then they create more of themselves, and it's like it's just a perpetuating thing. Because they don't teach, in my opinion, they don't teach uh, what they can't teach is openness and freedom. That I agree on. When you said that, no, because for you to say that, and, and you would be the epitome of the teacher. <laughs> That's very kind. <laughs> no. And I was like, oh, the teacher said this. I said that this is good. Well, because you know, I think, I think not everybody, not everybody is cut out to be a teacher, but a lot of people become teachers, especially in jazz, because they can't, they don't have the constitution to forge ahead in their art. And it's really something that's not just true in jazz, it's true in all the arts, it's true in all the disciplines, it's true in classical, it's true in opera, it's true in painting, it's true in writing. But I think that it doesn't need to be that way. I think. People need to be challenged. You know, people need to be challenged in the education process. And that's just something we don't do. I mean, that's something I don't do as much as I can. It's because I'm, I'm old learning. So it's easy. So in other words, it's easier to, to lean into something you know. But I, th but I think what you said that was key is you continuing to learn. When you stop <laughs> learning, you're dead. I will, I will never, I will never stop learning from the young people I interact with. Mm -hmm. They're the ones that teach me. I'm just lucky to be. I know. <laughs> but I, that, that I, I rallied around what you said, because I told you what you said, and I said, okay. Mm -hmm. See, if I say things like that, they say, go away, you're nobody. And I'm saying, but I have thoughts. No, of course. <laughs> but when you said it, it was like, okay. Can't get any higher in the food chain line. I don't know about that. We, well, it's very nice of you. And Ronnie's essay, I'm going to send you an essay she wrote, which is really, Can we it, see it? It, cuts, it cuts to the, to the heart of the matter in, in, in a situation that concerns visual art, but that also extends to all areas, as you mentioned, all disciplines. Well, so, you know, if you think about it, if you think about the history of the music, and the history of the music was always that, you know, somebody like pops started scatting and everybody hated it and thought he was out of line. Mm -hmm. And then, you know, and, and then uh, pops heard some bebop and he thought it sounded like Chinese music, thought they were out of their mind. And then the beboppers came up on Ornette. And Ornette was playing stuff that was native. And the beboppers thought he was out of Ornette. Ornette's pretty hip though. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's not exactly shutting doors. Mm -mm. But the more you think about it, we're teaching, we're, what we teach now in a lot of conservatories it's post 1950s. And we're stuck. We're just stuck. Man. Well, I think yeah, I think it's just like it's just 1950s, 1960s. We're stuck. We're stuck at the Miles Davis Quintet. Mm -hmm. We're stuck at the Fat Jones Melvin. Uh, we're stuck. We're stuck. We're stuck. But you know, actually, the young people, yeah, the hip young people aren't taking it. They're, they're creating their own world. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So yes. that's that's yes. why I'm just you yes. know that's why it's 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 just. Mm -hmm. You know that's okay. Mm -hmm. that's and it's good. and it's. Um, that's why I'm not worried. In other words. Yeah, because I, I know we we played for some children, and they grasped the whole thing because they weren't taught not to grasp. It. Yeah. It's like you can do what you want. You can do what right. you see. Right. And there are rules, but there are no rules. Once you learn the rules, there's no rules. No, you got you got to learn how to play your instrument. But once you get the instrument, 
You can plan what you want. Yeah. Well, and you know, I'm like, I'm, I'm, I always feel like the real artist has to kind of arbitrate between many worlds. And that's the job, is to honor the past, and bring stuff forward, bring it. care about bringing people in, but mm -hmm. not to can, you know, kowtow to them. And it's always like, the real artist always, like the real, like, like Mozart, like Picasso, like all the greats, they're always like stepping in five or six different worlds. And that's yes. what we try to do. Can you tell us about the music that you'll be playing today? We will be playing music that is written and music that is not written. Music that is uh, formed and unformed. We'll be playing music that comes from deep within and music that comes from deep without. Okay. Well, you, you would have to be here to experience it because it will be dynamic and it will be created as, as it is. It should be. So, Arturo, I want to thank you for thank talking you with us today. Thank you. And thank you for uh, Black Art in America. Yes. That's a very amazing organization. Mm -hmm.